Welcome back, fellow eccentrics. I am the Neural, and this is the Block Centric Server. We are here at Geos. I've decided the name of this place is Geos, just because I, this is inspired by Petra. And since Petra is the uh, r Latin word for stone, and fun fact in Portuguese, stone is actually said pedra, so we only changed the the T to a D, fun little linguistics fact for you. Um, since the, it is a Latin name, then I'm going with a Greek name for this one. So, Geos, for stone, or earth. Uh, yeah, so you can see here uh, what I've changed in the detailing, and this works out much, much better the, than it was before. Wow, that thing is really up there. Uh, than it was before, so we really I learned something about detail uh, this time. It ne the part that details needs to have some sort of contrast because you see, uh, you see the acacia wood really blends in there. Now I'm not sure if those parts are aren't too out. To uh, so. Th that part right there is at the same level as this part right here, so uh, the bottom and top parts are at the same level. Uh, however, no mobs, no mobs. Uh, however, uh, since that part is higher up, uh, no problem. Uh, since that part is higher up, it obstructs the view a little bit more, so maybe that should be a bit farther inwards, but enough about that, you don't want to hear about that, you want to see what I'm going to do for the the the, the central place thingy, uh, what, yeah, that, uh, so, hmm, hmm, let's, uh, let's decide how this is going to work. Uh, one, two, three, Let, let's carve this out, and of course we, there is still a whole bunch of work to do here, we've got them pillars, uh, uh, well, thank you anyway, XD, uh, huh, hmm, her, hmm, oh, I have some use for that, <laughs> Hmm, okay, so we have stone, uh, smooth stone and cobble, and that is actually very, very helpful. <laughs> Thank you, Jacques. Uh, so, we still have a lot of detailing work to do here. The pillars, the pillars up there aren't complete yet. That part up there, this part right here, there's still, there, there's quite a bit of work to do. And I'm not actually sure if I'm gonna leave the, the the side of the squircle just bare like this i like it bare but maybe it needs it needs something something else hmm all right but what do we do once we get in here i want this place to open up first let's go down to stone level one two three well maybe one above stone level let's shed some light on the subject Okay, okay, so that that's actually that's actually pretty perfect. It's a red layer, so it's interesting. Uh, and what we have to do is let's give this little bugger. Hmm. This is gonna have to have some sort of a pressure plate system to close the doors behind the person's peoples. Uh, so let's actually mark this right here. And after which, I want, hmm, I want a circle stair. So this is going to go down one, two, three levels. All right. And I think I've decided that uh, uh, about the lighting. I am going to go with pumpkin lighting b beneath glass. It'll take a lot of pumpkins, but it will be a much, much easier uh, easier, much cheaper than uh, full-on, uh, whatchamacallit, glowstone all the way around. Wow, God, that would be awful. Uh, so, yeah. 
Okay, uh, let's actually go down here and try to get a, a little bit of a design going. So we can get, we can have one, two, three, then two in, uh, then one in. Like this, yeah. I think that works. Then two in, then, oh. No, no, we're safe, we're safe. We're fine. It's fine. Okay, then one, two, then one in. And... <laughs> wow, we're cutting it a, a little bit close. Uh, but, what the hell. It's for, it's for science. Let's say it's for science. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Uh, so let's just try to get half of this figured out so that then I can do the other half off camera and I won't bore you guys to death. <coughs> okay, so one, two, three, then... Ooh, this is already posing a little bit of a problem. We're gonna have to go one more, one, two. So th this is going to be one, two, three, four, five wide, then one in, then, or better yet, then two in. Hmm. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea after all. Because, <laughs> uh, actually, hmm. Yeah, no, wait, yeah. Yeah, at this scale, uh, we're not gonna get the effect I was looking for. S sort of that grand ballroom entrance. <laughs> so let's just go with uh, one, two, three, or uh, thingy. One, two, three, four, five here, then one in, and plus two, and here we will go one, two, three, four, five, six, then one in, and we'll end it there. Hmm. And that will just about be that. Won't it? Well, I guess... I guess we can call this staircase a fail. <laughs> it's n it, it was never gonna be that big a staircase anyway. Uh, but we'll we'll get some sort of effect. So, one, two, three... Whoa, easy there, big fella. Easy, steady. Like that. Alright. And just right into a wall. You can just... Eh, right in there. Okay. So that will be ground level. Hmm. Very well. I shall dig this out and dig out some sort of a room because we are going to do stuff here. So I will be right back. Okay, guys. This is set. Nothing happens very well. And it only should happen... <clears throat> Once the doors are open. And in the meanwhile, I did this. <clears throat> yes. And wow, am I gonna need some awesome amount of diamonds for this. <laughs> oh, oh, geez. Uh, but let's try to figure out, for, first of all, figure out what this is. So this is a sort of an antechamber to the rest of the place. <clears throat> so, we're gonna need uh, a little challenge here to to proceed. So the, the exit here will be, again, probably a 2x3. Yeah, most most likely. Let's just check our light levels here. Eh, they're pretty solid. Uh, oh. Oh. Oh, thank God. Pretty solid. Alright, so what I did here was I dug out this pl space, which is 11 blocks, then multiplied it by 1.618 to get the perfect rectangle, which was 17 point something, so I rounded it down to 17. Uh, for uh, to to keep it a an odd number, <clears throat> and here what I wanted to do was have some sort of a uh, uh, a little a little inty binty teenty puzzle, uh, which would hmm. It 
would require the player to do something. Uh, so that's 17. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to do something here. Then from, from there, that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 1, 2, 3, bang. Here. All right. And same as here. We'll, we'll want the player to do something here. And I think I know what, but I can't tell you. I can only say that it will involve some redstone. <coughs> it will involve redstone. So if the player does something here, let's actually make him do something, him or her, although there are no hers in the server. And then scary noises. Scary noises from a scary resource pack. And scary noises are really... Mm, I really don't like scary noises. Just because they're a bummer. Let's do it like this. Hmm. Yes. Only this will actually be... This... Let's see, let's see, oh, that's not too bad, let's, let's see, that's actually un completely unnecessary, however, if we place a slab there and there, <coughs> yeah, and the player will interact with this thing, uh, what do you say, I have no cobble, I have no cobble, I have nothing, I have nothing that I need on me, uh, but yeah, so this block interactable, ah, ear itchy, and this is the the theme for the thing which w the player will interact with. Maybe I'll tone it down and make less fewer things. Uh, but yeah, now as for the decoration, the room's decoration. So this is brown and uh, red and yellow. So. I was thinking that maybe we could pull the yellow out from th the things. Yeah, kind of like this. Give me that. And from here to... Excuse me. And then all the way to here. And leading into the door. Hmm, yes, that might actually work out pretty well, pretty well. Hmm. But that's not enough. S see, we want to pull some elements. So, what we can do is these things will end up having a one block gap. So, we can actually grab one of the elements, which is the ceiling, and pull it down. Uh, this in architecture, this is called pulling pulling an element. So we're uh, we're grabbing one of the elements from from the structure and pulling it to another uh, another part of the structure. Although this might actually need a little trimming here. Yes, yes. Let's trim this like this. Uh, no, not like this. <coughs> like this and it will give us something to work with so let's see Let, let's uh, let's do it right here and we'll end up with this let's fill that in so that we have oh no gimme thank you so that we have a clear notion of what we're working with so the interest block will be this one yeah Okay, the interest block will be this one, and we'll ha we have this to work with. So let's, uh, I know, it's very dark. Uh, here. <coughs> and here. So, well, actually, I might actually need this space for redstone. Hmm. We'll see, we'll see. Or better yet, w when we're trying to add detail without adding um, 
major differences in in the build it's it's always a nice little idea to to add that see it doesn't contrast at all with the rest but it uh, it's something different it's there hmm, now let's see tell you what i'm actually going to finish this room now and we'll see how this looks when once this is implemented here here there there all around and we have something to to actually work with and then we'll install the redstone for the thing and uh, call it an antechamber i will be right back okay everybody i've been at this for tomorrow we're, we're probably not gonna have an episode because i uh i went to a concert very cool concert but we're running out of time uh, so i am going to tell you what i've been up to uh, I've been doing loads of research, and I figured out how to make a mm, bud switch toggle thingy, uh, which is very, very cool. So uh, forget that design that we were going for. We had wood. I tried stone, but uh, uh, it doesn't work with this. Let's actually... No. Uh, <laughs> okay. Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. What does this do? Uh, t actually, take note of this design. It's really simple. It's j it's exactly what you see. Uh, piston, thingy, redstone, repeater, block, uh, d d redstone dust here, and a block up there. And that is a bud pistony. Uh, now... Where is the thing? One, two, and bang. Uh, let's actually cover you up, too. What does this do? Well, heard that? And then this toggles the p the bud switch, which, uh, which means that whenever something happens in this general vicinity, in this block, uh, this block right here, the piston extends. And then when something happens again, it retracts. Uh, so yeah, that's a thing. Now, uh, I am going to do, to perform this design, uh, this thingy, uh, all around this place. So, so that people have to do something that I can't exactly tell you what it is. Uh, we still have to make some massive work in this room. Oh, dear lord. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to repeat that, and then we'll figure out w how we're gonna make the door, so I will be right back. Okay, guys, everything's hooked up nice and neat. Uh, you, you can't see the redstone because... Um, well, because you would... Uh, you would see w what you would have to do. Uh, however, mm, this is going here. However, uh, it's pretty straightforward after you've made that uh, that bud switch. So the buds are wired up, and they all uh, they all have wires that lead to an end gate, uh, which has a torch that is off. You remember the other mechanism for that door. Uh, a torch that is off that is powering this block. The torch is underneath this block. So we have this redstone dust here, which will power the pistones. Uh, so all we have to do uh, is actually, this has to be, hmm, this has to be like so, because these have to be extended. It's the same, the same reasoning as before. I am completely out of inventory space. Uh, I mean, seriously, completely out of inventory space. And it is driving me insane. Uh, okay, can we see those blocks? We can, and we can. Now all we have we has to do is bang, bang, and bang. No. Bang. Yep. Uh, cover, cover this up, will you? Uh, ugh. Get, get, let, let me, uh. all right, so those are extended, and we just need to power these guys, so bang, 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 and they will come down, and those, uh, uh, 
How are we gonna do the thingies upstairs? Hmm. And these... Hmm. These are closed. These will also need to be closed, so we're gonna have to invert the signal around here. Uh, let's, uh, let's dig in here. Uh, let's just grab a bunch of room. Hmm, yeah, just dig in here. Uh, there you go. Yes, you can, f we can feed it there. And get an inverter going, like so. Bang, bang. Uh, block there. Uh, I don't want to use the, the red thingy. Uh, I'd prefer to conserve the, the dyed clay, the already dyed clay, because that, th that can turn out to be quite expensive. Uh, there... Mm -hmm. Actually, there and there. And we'll go up. And we'll feed it through through the up. Oh, wow. This is a massive hole I'm digging just because of a puny little door. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's feeding that. So it goes from here, 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 here. Uh, no. Uh, bang, bang, bang. And here, here, and here. Okay. So now that's extended too. Which is a beautiful yellow clay. Hmm. Okay, very well. And I do believe we have ourselves a working system to get through the antechamber. Uh, let's just plop this here and I'll do a f I'll make a final test to see uh, okay. Hmm, let's just we don't need to fill all of this in just like this and i'm hearing spiders by the way if you're spiders and zombies and i heard some skeletons too so i'm i'm starting to get to feel a little scared let's just cover the access up you can't see what's behind it and there you go all working, all fine. I'll do a little, a few test runs later on. But for today, that is all the time we have. So again, everybody, thank you very much for watching. You've been great. Please do leave a like if you enjoyed the episode. And until next time, I have been the Neural, and I hope you have an awesome day.